Hello and welcome to nayarjavid.com. In this video we are uh, going to explore how to explain the IRR to anyone. What is IRR? As we all know IRR stands for the internal rate of return. What is internal rate of return then? By definition IRR or internal rate of return is a rate of return at which the project's NPV or net present value becomes zero. Now you're gonna ask me what is the net present value? Okay, what is the net present value or the NPV? The net present value is defined as the sum of the present values of the individual cash flows, both incoming and outgoing. Uh, means cash outflow, cash inflow, the income, the capital, uh, you know, cost, everything of a series of cash flow. Now you are going to ask me, what is the present value? Okay, the question is here. The present value is defined as the current worth of a future sum of money or a stream of cash flows at a certain discount rate. Now here there are two terms, current worth and discount rate. So you are going to ask me about this. Um, certainly this way we cannot explain IRA to anyone. So what should we do? Let's simplify it. IRA is just the interest rate. Let's understand it this way. IRA is just the interest rate. How? Okay. Let's see. Let's consider an example. Suppose I have a hundred dollar bill to invest. One of my friends is in need of money. He is willing to pay me an interest of 10% per annum. He needs this loan for five years. Just assume. So what we are saying the interest rate is 10% okay and um, just say the here we will plot the timeline years say year 0 year 1 and so on so we can just drag it up to year 5 okay just make it a little bit look beautiful and now we have say the, what is the loan amount? The loan amount we know is we for me it is a negative cash flow I'm giving him. So I will write as a minus 100. What is the interest I will receive? The interest I'm going to receive, I'll assume that this year probably will not have any interest since next year we'll pay. So we will use the formula IPMT. The first uh, thing in this formula is the rate, which we'll use the rate. Then the period for which we are going to calculate the interest. And then uh, NPR, which is for the loan term and then we have the present value which is the loan amount actually okay let's see so ten dollar i'm going to receive this year let's drag up to five year this is the interest i am going to receive now he's going to pay me also principal repayment so let's see how does it look like we will not pay anything here and we will use the same formula uh, PPMT. So again the rate which is the interest rate what we said earlier. Then the period for which we are going to calculate this repayment. And the loan duration which is 5 years. And then the loan value which is 100. And let's drag it up to 5 year. So if you see uh, the total net cash flow for me uh, what is the net cash flow? Just sum this. So we will see what is the net cash flow. How does it look like? Okay. So 
Okay, very good. We have too many decimal points. I think we just need to a little bit round off. Okay, we are here now. Okay, this looks very interesting. Now see the principal repayment, how much he is total repaying me. He is paying $100. Uh, interest is paying me over 5 year duration is 31.9 now let's use the IRR formula in the Excel IRR it says return the internal rate of return of series of cash flows so what we're gonna do we're going to calculate the IRR for this cash flow okay see the IRR let's move this formula here it looks better we will write here IRR so now the IRR is 10 percent. So very interesting actually, it's exactly the same thing. Now let's see if we if we change the interest rate to say uh, 5 percent, my IRR becomes 5 percent. Isn't it interesting? Now just assume that uh, we are going to charge a very high interest rate, 15 percent. See, the IRR 15%. Isn't it very simple? The IRR is simply the interest rate. Thank you very much and please visit Nayajan.com.